Hello, I'm Gary Walker with Aborn Property Management. This is the first of an eight-part series on best practices for landlords in Santa Clara County, Silicon Valley. In this video, we'll cover advertising and the property preparation. For advertising today, it's really all electronic. No more do we uh, run ads in newspapers and flyers, that sort of thing. When people want a rental today, they go to the, to the market, places like Craigslist, property websites, Trulia, Zillow, they look for properties there and that's where you need to be for, for them to find you. As far as ad content, don't oversell your property. Make sure what you say is absolutely the truth. Uh, nothing looks worse than putting the property in the wrong area or that sort of thing. Pictures really do sell. They set your ad apart. So when you're doing Craigslist or one of those services, make sure you have good quality pictures both of the inside and outside of your property. As far as phone number, make sure you don't use your cell phone because the last thing you want is your tenant to have your cell phone so that when you get into the relationship. Um, so it's many landlords have found it a good practice to have a seldom used number or maybe a number just for the business side of what they do um, and, uh, and having that be your phone number. Rather than go and show the property to everybody that asks, most good managers, most good owners try to pre-qualify on the phone. Know your rules and apply them to everyone. Make sure that you are never accused of a fair housing violation because you weren't consistent. The kinds of rules you can set for qualifying, clearly we use a three times uh, income for the as compared to the rent and we find that ratio works really quite well if a person is paying more than a third uh, for rent uh, generally they'll have a problem paying the rent over the long haul make sure your rules are reasonable apply them to everyone and uh, and you won't have a you won't have a problem and you also won't be showing the property to people who uh, couldn't qualify, couldn't meet your rules. As far as preparing the property for sale, most people are going to drive by the property before they come to your appointment. And if the curb appeal isn't good, they're likely not to come at the appointment time that, uh, that you've set. Um, the one thing I'd say about preparing the, the property is prepare the property for the tenant you really want to have. Tenants that will put up with a dirty or beat up house generally will also not take care of the property in a way that, that you would want them to. So with those kinds of quick rules, it, it will get you off to a good start with your tenant. Again, this is uh, the first of eight videos, so I recommend if, uh, if you like this one, uh, please, please look for the remaining videos. Again, I'm Gary Walker, Aborn Properties, 408-272-7298. Thank you very much.